uh, ayong buntag mga kapatid, kapamilya and kapuso and we're here right now at Cebu Wala. Plaza Independencia area and let's have a quick short drive so, diba? let's talk about what is mga events recently di ba na valentine sa Gipadong or I don't know ano saan ito mag-post but you know ato mga events na marapag uh, we just finished the Miss Universe Philippines Cebu pageant oh, let's talk about pageant ba oh, of course I've been posting about our winners so ba nang nalahan ko mag storya na na o di ba na um, Cebu has always been a cons considered as a powerhouse when it comes to pageants so we have a lot of beautiful Cebuanas <laughs> yeah I would say that I think we have many potential beauty queens they're kind of from Cebu but not necessarily from Cebu they're not going to be in school they're not going to be in school but you know we just crowned any, our candidates that we will send to the beauty pageant in the Miss Universe Philippines so diba? Grand Coronation Night uh, So, kinsa to ipada On that contest Or pageant They will bring Send <coughs> Ilang ipada uh, they will, uh, The winner will be Sent to the Miss Universe competition The most prestigious Among, you know Major pageants In the world So, we'll see We'll see what happens So, oh, diba? And the winner, there is a, the first ever Miss Universe Philippines, Cebu, is you know, a 34-year-old, Christophany Anson. Oh, what part is Christophany? She used to be, uh, she was a binibining Pilipinas title holder and she even, you know, I think, na, naka place na siya sa second runner-up ba na siya or was a runner-up uh, sa Miss International. Oh, di ba? So she's a titleist. And like I think 10 years ago to yung title and now she's back in the pageant circuit. <laughs> 10 years later. Oh imagine 10 years later. Oh, fighter Kairo. Man Kayo. Um, very good. It's a surprising move from her. And para nako that's inspiring you have on Sunday para. Yeah, Christopher Nioy Buwan man May appeal pa maghihabog pageant You know At 34 Because You know Nag-relax ng rules of world na Sometimes Anybody can join The Miss Universe now Although Of course Winning is different Different story But Anybody We have transgenders Who join Maybe na ito Yung anakan Who join I think married Married Miss Universe Join even place in the top five matingali so that's interesting sad oh, diba? mga, mga, mga kuan, but they're trying to they break the rules but they, they are gonna whatever. they're trying to make it more inclusive so umuban transgender na kasi kuwang na yung mga pin ng laki kita tinuod na laki na ganahan mag pin sinulob na babae pero Maybe that uh, they relax, you know, the height requirements, the age requirements. So it could come in any shape or size or, you know, gender and marital status. Pwede na. And why not? Diba? It's a competition. It's all about beauty and brains. Ano man dihay. Ano, kinang lang dihay single na. Diba? Diba? What's in that? I totally agree with that. Man. And then I guess one testament that also na capable you have one of my medyo mature na like Chris Stephanie what is the Cebu pageant the Miss Universe Philippine Cebu pageant where you know Chris Stephanie Hanson won diba at 34 she beat sometimes mga halos na siya na beat na mga halos katunga na siya ang edad lang ha o diba yung ano ba she beat like uh, 20s 19 no? I think na yung mga 19 no so I uh, like a, a 15 year gap so more or less so imagine that so amazing amazing you know amazing set ang guts and it's not easy to join uh, and, pero mawag sa na formidable yun nun siya na contender because nana siya name recall nana siya 
kailangan of course he was she's not only a veteran but a winner a proven winner so now she won Cebu um Cebu's um elimination round and you know what my ingon lang is yes in indeed she's still a formidable contender wiser na guy na diba wiser brighter although mali na challenge lang is if you go against the younger ones mga pasarela na mga swimsuit na mga pasiksi na of course nasa kay in a way uh, disadvantage wala laban lang diba kanang lan imo gyap ang one because, but hey I mean, there are many 30 year olds who look better than you know but even <laughs> look better <laughs> even compared to teenagers diba? so, laban, no? diba? so I would say uh, she, she's still gonna be a force to reckon with uh, marabag, dapat bantayana na siya sa, sa national pageant stage so, there are people who are gonna be joining na edad, but also the young ones the upstarts or even the ones na who four titlists sag yapon and still you know in their 20s so that's always gonna be uh, the fun thing about it. And in the Philippines, pageants are a big thing, so laban lang. And another candidate na kwan sa was, was doing well or nagan sa fans is Juvel Dukay, Doctor Juvel Dukay of Bantayan. Uh, she's like the mini B uh, Miss Universe Philippines charities. Um, uh, tourism 2024. She's like she ang second. And you know, she's also really good. She's been a veteran in the pageantry. I think I've seen her before. So, um, Bini Bini Cebu, and then the, she's, uh, you know, a doctor, accomplished doctor, so bright. And about the bows and my bokas and my sumusturia, and the papaha niya, man. Medyo fun sa dia. Paano sa yung lahi lagi? Medyo mature na gina. Kaya naman, yung anang idara, but mature na gamay. Uh, comes with wisdom. Diba? Makasa Sabay ay mal, mal. Kaya sometimes, kung fukusan yun, kanyang mga nai brains, yun, real brains. Wag kuning yun ang mga bata, why brains? Um, ang mga more, old, ang anang older, are the ones na ay, kung ano advantage. Ano, one, because of experience, o lahi ng life experience ba? And two, para sa kwan, um, um, para, you have job, you graduate ng college, you have a job, you have different perspective na, you have experience in life. It's not uh, typically one ba. Typical na makuha ni mo dayon when you you figure out when you were younger. O, di ba? So, maori guys, ang lapad na kayong daan, di ba? O, so, and then we have um, got to see Nika Nabua. Oh, she's studying med school. Oh, di ba? Oh, di ba? Plus, nag study siya pag a doctor. And she's, she's um, juggling it with a, with a pageant, oh, with pageantry. So, laban yun. Fighter kay bata ako yung sarado na yun. So, matuyok na ta. So, Kuan Chad, uh, she's a third year medical student and she's gonna go to the national pageant as well. So, bright sa bata, mo ni bright ni, uh, bright sa ni younger, uh, di ba? Uh, pero di sa young na kayo, may third year med student naman. So, may tiko pinin na, may tres. But it's just, just, you know, like the ripe age to, to pursue an, 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 a beauty queen, a beauty title that has a chance to. National title of the last to Miss Talisa in a oh, young, guapa, sexy. I think she won the best in swimsuit. We also had the man as a potential. The man, 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 the so, kuan, younger project but I think they have a potential shad, na, to really you know na, training gamay. yeah so this is a good um, start so mana hopefully our our winners will get 
will get um, you know will bag national titles or really do well in national pageant ahead so thank you so much for watching guys and I hope to see you on a sense of sunod atong lag lag ug bihay bahay and um, have a great week ahead of support our local beauty queens <laughs> mao na ba you know and they have their own respected pages so kung into that ka you know, support the Cebuana candidates so wala. thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you na sa atasunod ng mga laag laag huwag biyahe biyahe <laughs> and wala. bye bye bye